it just does sum up the pressure on this team. Rarely will a club have faced such expectations at this level. Perhaps not since Manchester United and Tottenham dropped down to the second tier in the 70s. The big name manager and the big money buys with some still to come add to the weight of pressure on Newcastle to deliver. Well, memories of Newcastle's last promotion refreshed by the presence of Chris Hutton in the opposition dugout. He'll always be warmly welcomed here, but today, for once, he does not wish them well. Newcastle Brighton is live next. This unforgiving division. Today's visitors, Brighton, promised to be a major adversary. 24 years since they met in league combat, but it is a should it be needed adding some extra presence in there Bulldog taking the dance around the back oh and Sells has to produce an early save but the flag was up in any case sees upon it Murray in hot pursuit and Kyle as well but it evaded well Resson has got the wonderful passing range but he does get ahead of steam up going he's a strong player to knock off the ball you can look fabulously simple at times can it a good ball in a nice run a losing of a marker by Lascelles. Transfer the power from the ball in by Matt Ritchie. Not helped by redundant marking from Brighton. Set nothing away from the header. Powerful from there. And she will be asking the questions of his whole defence there. How comes Jamal? That's threatening Ritchie. Shelby steaming in on it. Well, where's it going to drop? Oh, Lewis Dunk. Confidence flowing through the team that's come from that first goal. Doesn't quite catch it as sweetly as we thought it would do, John Joe Shelby. Blasted into Goofman right in the middle of the pitch in front of the six yard box. The stop though completely unsighted. Flying forward on the far side. Oh, and Perez picks it well's pocket. It's Hayden and Perez and Richie. A really urgent block there from Shane Duffy. Wriggle his way past both Kyle and Bong, but never easy. And they're pretty relentless at the moment, Perez. Well, relentless is a good word, Dan. Oh, here's Bong. Goufran. You might fancy a crack here. Certainly rattled Brighton's cage. Such a wonderful start for Newcastle. This would really add it to it. He gets funneled inside Goufran and just the instinct is to let fly. Very, very long distance out. Stop Dale. Might open up for Shelby here. Oh. No, Jarmy getting his foot on it. Richie! Play by Diami. Does end up being at the feet of Matt Ritchie and then his unfavoured right foot. As you can see, he's just concentrating on hitting the target, making a good contact. Come by. Yeah, we're right behind him as he drills the ball into the box. Worst by Luck or Design that ends up with Goofran at the back post because he does kind of ghost in with absolutely no one anywhere near him. Bruno at the back hoping to retrieve this. Bulldog to hit it, warm the hands of Sells and there may be more work for him to do here, Knockart! We've got a deflection and Newcastle have a corner and going forward in the first half. Decent have chance for Bulldog, he's here a long way out though, he's got another couple to aim at Murray. Well, Shelby missed it, Bulldog. Shelby on the end of it that time, but here's Knockart, will set his sights, got a deflection. Oh, and it went beyond Murray and arrived at Bruno's feet, but I think he would have been flat. Knockout. He's very marginal. Goufran's very, very happy because he's almost... Well, another set-piece goal. The difference for Newcastle in that first 45 minutes. The question is, did they make enough of their dominance to see it through in that first half? Jamal Lascelles touched with that stunning strike that rattled the crossbar. Fine having a good spell towards the interval, but couldn't really fashion anything in the way of a clear-cut chance. And the break here at St James's Park. Newcastle 1, Brighton 0.
Great adventure for Michael O'Neill and his team. Oh, and that's Gouffron again, who's got a habit of getting on the end of things today. Gouffron in the first half doesn't quite get this one as right as that first one. It's high enough just to lean in. Here's Sidwell. Kayal. Now here's Bong. Hangs it up, Murray. Well, the sail's in the way. It's just a situation on the other end. I'm sorry. Tidying up, shall we say, of um, the ball coming out. Well, definitely bouncing up towards the sales hands. No movement of the hand. Kyle is onside. Oh, and Knockhart cannot finish it off, and it's Brighton's turn to hit the crossbar. At the... Because he has got that much room in the 18 yard box, your instant reaction is that he's offside. And he's over, and it does that come out to Knockhart. And you would fancy him on his left foot, that close to the goal. Only takes one moment of slackness. Oh, the ball has gone in for. And it's his second yellow card. He is dismissed. And it's now. Themselves in letting go of the ball. Slight theatrical reaction to a coming together with Baldock. Baldock's trajectory just runs him straight into the goalkeeper. He's not going to miss. Make something of the situation. What you can say from Sam Borlott's point of view, you might be arguing his case with the fourth official, but he's put himself in the position to be judged there, whether it's a... Diame. And those dancing feet going, look to take a deflection, but off the Newcastle player. We shall see. It shall be! And it's perfection! kick to give away but sublimely taken by John Joe Shelby David Stockdale wanted four in his wall it lined his wall up but when you've come in against a player of this quality who can strike a ball like this something that Newcastle fans need to see more of Shelby I have another crack here it was certainly worth a try and Stockdale he's waiting for a decisive run by Goofer and in the end elected to take it on himself proverbial Worm burner as it skids across the turf. All oh, part of the rich tapestry. Knockart. He's usually in charge of the set plays for the right footer with Northern Ireland. It's Knockart. Defended well. His formidable duo, Hemed's in there. Duffy comes in, or might it be turned back? Hemed looking to rise, Sell's got a hand on it. And finally Newcastle able to get it away. Look at the ball as it comes in, he sees it for a long time, Shane Duffy. I don't know whether he just mistimes his jump, because from that position on the pitch and the power in his head, they're looking for him to try and get it on goal. Hills were in the playoff semi-final. Luwa well, he always has a moment in a game. They remind us of Newcastle, there may be a sting in the tail, they've got to keep total concentration all the way through to the end of the game. <laughs> this is comfortable as an introduction as you'd like, new signing, five or so minutes to get on and have a quick run around and hopefully indeed. Another opportunity. And that's useful and Dunk is up there. Exactly where he wants to put the ball, always wants to come back onto his left foot. So with good pace, precision into that back pass, just again perhaps a missed time jump from Knockhart. Oh, and here's a chance for Kai. Oh! oh and Sells. A stunning save. Everyone's drawn to Kai. Oh, moth to a flame, but look at how much space Kai has got. What a strong right hand that is from Sells. He's absolutely drilled at him. That's going in the top corner, but look at that. If I recall rightly. Well, job done for Newcastle and Rafa Benitez. Chris Hutton's return to St James's Park is not a happy one, but it's a pretty resounding message they've sent out to the rest of the championship today.